What up, squad? And thank you guys so much for tuning in. All right, guys, so this is going to be October love readings. Now, I'll be completely honest with you guys. Every reading I've done so far, this is what the seventh or eighth reading. It's all had the same storyline. Me being in a relationship, I'm hoping that it doesn't take the same storyline. Well, let's see what's going on, okay? And let's get into it. Now, I am going to be doing this a little bit differently. Before, I would do a general spread, single spread, and then couple spread. But I figured that we should all know whether or not we're in a relationship. And if it's unclear, then you're probably not. Okay? So, with that being said, I'm just going to do a general spread at first for anyone who may kind of be in between. Just to get the general energy. It's just a five-card spread. And then we'll move on to singles. And then we will do couples. And for any of my New Yorkers who um, will be in New York October 26th and 27th. I will be doing uh, meet and greet sessions. I'm flying out there at the end of the month. So if you guys do want tickets, you'll get to sit down with me for one hour. You could bring friends if you'd like, um, up to two friends. But it's just an hour slot. We talk, chill, I'll read your cards. Just, uh, you know, whatever it is you guys want to talk about, I'll be there for it. So it'll be those two days, a Thursday and a Friday, the 26th, 27th, from 9 to 5. Okay, so uh, once you make that purchase for the ticket, just email me and let me know which time slot you need, okay? And that information about the address will be disclosed to those who purchase, all right? Okay, squad, let's see what's going on. Let's see what these general energies are. And, of course, the lovely time stamps. Thank you guys so much in advance for that. All right. Show me the overall energies for... All of Taurus for love in October. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Okay. So the energy of this is the High Priestess in the reverse. Okay. So with the High Priestess in reverse, this is. You know, you being very, very intuitive about the things that are going on around you. When the high priestess in reverse, I, I mean, when the high priestess, I'm sorry, comes out, um, this is saying that the things that you're feeling, the things that you're thinking, um, it's most likely true. Whatever your gut is telling you, that's most likely what you're dealing with, okay? So there might be a situation here that may not be a good risk to take. Or uh, maybe a certain person that you shouldn't be going towards. But let's see how things play out. The first card we have here for the overall energies, we have the moon card in the reverse. So with this moon card in the reverse, uh, there's secrets that are coming out here. But there's also a clarity that you guys are coming to. Okay, that we're all coming to. And with this clarity, you know, there's a sense of healing. Okay, so it doesn't always have to be a bad thing. The next card we have is the Queen of Cups. So for some of you, you may have a water sign that's very significant for you. But this is just someone who's very loving, very tender, kind of like that motherly, nurturing love. Okay? And there's something here that might feel a bit debilitating with the Strength card in the reverse. And it could be you guys taking this energy or it could be, um, sorry, piece of hair. Or it could be uh, an earth sign, I mean, I'm sorry, an air sign that you're dealing with. Okay, but there's going to be a sense of someone who is maybe a little bit cold. Maybe they emotionally detach themselves a little bit. And with the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, this could mean that there's something that you want to get into that maybe you don't get into it as quickly as you would like. There's some sort of delay on it. Or maybe there's just something that altogether you just cut off, you know, because with the Ace of Pentacles, this is our energy. So it could be us looking at a situation and cutting it off, okay? So let's get into the read. But hold on. I wanted to show you guys my nails. How cool is that? Team Squad. I got a new nail lady. I was so hyped. I was like, yes, girl. You better do it. All right. See, I'm going to New York, so I'm getting in the New York spirit. All right. So let's see what is going on with Taurus Singles. This is my last reading today, guys. About to have a Corona. Maybe a shot of tequila. So I'm like in chill mode right now, so I apologize. Okay, so let's see what is going on with Taurus singles. What is happening with Taurus singles? Uh, 
All right, guys. So the energy for this reading is the Six of Cups, all right? Being stuck in the past, thinking a lot about the past, all right? And behind that, the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. So you may be thinking about something in your past that you saw as a waste of time, just something that you shouldn't have gotten into, okay? The first card for your past is the Nine of Wands. So with the Nine of Wands, there's you uh, having a certain resiliency towards a person or towards, you know, maybe a relationship where you're trying to build and you're really working hard on this. Okay, but there could have been conflict here, which is why things feel a little debilitating. The next card here is the Two of Cups in the reverse. So you guys could have walked away from someone, or again, this could be more heavy arguing here. With the hanged man in the uh, in the reverse, it's like you fell out of a situation and you moved forward from it. Okay? But there was still love coming in. So maybe that's what the argument was about. Because there's conflict here. There's something that you're trying to build. There's something that you drop, but there's something coming in. Okay? It's like the same storyline with every single freaking sign this month. Um, the last part for your past here is the Ten of Pentacles. So there's something being dropped, but there's also something that you feel really good about. All right? New chapter here, guys. We got the world card. All right, so with this world card, there's something that you're ending, but it's to start something new. We have the Ten of Cups in the reverse here. So with the Ten of Cups in the reverse, there's a sense of instability. There's a sense of not being happy with the situation. Um, but you're moving forward. There's something that you're dropping, something that you're unhappy about, but something that you are happy about at the same time. Okay, so I just feel like it's a transition. Closing a chapter to start a new, a complete new book, okay? And it could, you know, be in regards to someone that you've dealt with already in the past. In the present moment, we have the Ten of Wands. So with the Ten of Wands, there could be a burden that you feel, or, you know, you could feel like the weight of the world is on your shoulders right now. Again, we have a past lover here that's returning. Either you guys are reaching out or they're reaching out to you. And this is something that you're very guarded against. Okay, we have the death card here. So this could have been the person that you were trying to leave behind or this could be someone coming in again. Uh, but no, I just, I feel that there's someone coming in. You feel burdened by a lot in life. You feel guarded towards them. But it looks like you're going to have a new chapter with this person because you have the Six of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. So something new coming in, but something that you're going to find balance in it and you're going to find happiness. But there could be something that you just don't feel proud about. Maybe you did have to drop someone. Maybe there's someone who's very invested in you. This whole thing could be flipped too, guys. This could be something that you're dealing with. Maybe someone is doing this to you. Now, the next card we have here is the Tower card in the reverse. With the Tower card in the reverse, there's a big change happening with someone in your life that is affecting you. And you're looking at the situ you're looking at this person and saying, you know, I don't think that we should get things started right away. There's something that's holding you back, but there's very direct communication with this person about this. And again, uh, there could be someone that's changing dramatically, and you're just saying, you know, this isn't going to work for me. I just, you know, there's a rejection here, okay? And it could have been due to an injustice. Uh, but I see you guys moving in a direction where you're leaving something behind. But I don't see you guys as the ones who are burdened. I see it. Possibly being the other person that's burdened. Now, the next card here is the Page of Wands in the reverse. So with the Page of Wands in the reverse, if there's a fire sign or a fire energy you were talking to, this could be them cutting you off, you cutting them off. We have the Death card again. Okay. Six of Cups. Yeah, you, you're starting something new, but you're ending something with someone in the past. You're cutting them off. But you're still not 100% over it, but you are removing yourself from what would have been a toxic situation here. Okay, now moving forward, we have the Ace of Wands. Okay, so there's something good that's coming in for you. There's a new start happening here. A lot of uh, single Tauruses I do see getting into relationships towards the end of the month. We have the Temperance card here, so this brings you balance. This brings you a new start. This brings you passion, possibly with um, an air sign. Okay, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. All right, it's like you get out of your shell and you move forward towards this new person. Now, with the Five of Wands, this can cause a sense of conflict. 
Uh, you know, I can see this happening if more than one person was interested in you and they're just not mad that they didn't make that, you know, final draft cut. But it's cuffing season, guys, huh? Six of Swords in the reverse. So it's like you're moving away from something, but you're having a hard time moving away from it. Or maybe they're having a hard time moving away from you, which is why there's conflict here. Yeah, a lot of arguing with the Ace of Swords in the reverse. So something good and something passionate is starting, but something's ending and there's problems with this end. Okay, it's it's not just like an easy straight cut end. Either you're uh, prolonging it or the person that you're ending things with is prolonging it. Okay, but you are stabilizing yourself by moving away from whatever this was. Now, the last card you guys have here is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, which, you know, is your energy. So this is somebody that, um, you know, they're at a standstill. There's no movement forward. So it's like you guys can literally be sitting in the middle of this because... You have a new start that's passionate and beautiful. And then you have something that's ending that's so problematic. So I feel that this is you guys just like, okay, let me just take a second. All right? Because although we're stubborn as hell, Tauruses don't necessarily like drama. And it takes a lot to get a Taurian mad. So it could be the type of thing where we kind of just take a step back. And it's just like, let me just breathe and chill before I fuck everybody up with my words. And that's something that you guys know is very possible for Taurus to do. We're very calm until we're not. All right. So let's see what's going on with this Knight of Pentacles in reverse. The Sun card. So this could be something good that's coming into your life or maybe something that you're finding out about that makes you kind of stop walking on the path that you're on. The High Priestess in the reverse. Okay. So... No, I don't think it's anything bad that you find out about. I think that there's something very good in your life that's coming in. But as a historian who really, you know, uh, values stability and values someone that is dependable, I think that, you know, and, and I've said this before, but we, we have that problem where if there's something really good happening for us, we kind of just take a step back from it sometimes. Because it's like we want to look at it from all angles and make sure that this is something that's as solid as we feel. So with this, I feel that there's something really good, guys, that comes in, but you're just not sure about it. So you don't make any movements for yet, which is okay. I think that you're just uh, making sure that this is something that is going to be what you need it to be. Okay, with the Sun card, it could be um, a fire energy, particularly Leo, that's coming in. Or, you know, I see air for a lot of you, but it can be any sign, but... What you have to keep in mind is there's something that's being left behind and something new that's starting. All right. So let's see what is going on with Taurus couples. I've been so nervous to do this damn spread. I'm going to hire someone to start doing the Taurus spread. No, I'm kidding, guys. I would never let anybody else take over Taurus readings for me. Hell no. Okay. What is going on with Taurus couples? Sometimes I wish I couldn't read cards because there is so much peacefulness with not knowing the future. <laughs> There's nothing to stress about. Okay. It looks good so far, guys. All right. So, beautiful. <laughs> I was so fucking nervous to do this. The energy is the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is ultimate happiness. It's ultimate abundance. It's loving where you are in life. Loving the person that you're with. Just good vibes all around, okay? And there may be some sense of unfinished business that you have with someone, or maybe uh, you're, you're dealing with a situation or a chapter within this relationship that's not really uh, over. But, you know, overall, things are good. So let's get into this. So the first card that you guys have for the past is the Queen of Swords. So again, there could have been an air sign that was very significant for you guys. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And there was a new start with this person. With the Ace of Swords, there may have been, um, for some of you, it's a new start and you have to cut off other people in order to get with this person. For others of you, this is going to be, um, you know, maybe 
something happening in the relationship where you guys are just cutting out like bad habits and things like that and saying, okay, let's start over. Let's start again. Okay. Now with the six of swords, there's something that you moved away from. So we keep seeing the same energies, guys, moving away from something, going towards something else. The next card for the past is the eight of swords. So there's something here that you really feel stuck in your head about. But with the seven of swords, there's secrets here. Okay, now we have the knight of wands here. So there could have been a secret in this relationship involving a fire sign. Okay, let me get one more card here. Something that made you feel a little bit unbalanced here. Okay, feeling stuck in your head. There could be secrets involved. There could be someone passionate that you're dealing with. But um, for a lot of you, I don't think that the secret is something that was too bad. Only because the victory card is at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so maybe there's something uh, for some choices that you were doing because it shows you guys in the upright. It doesn't show you stressed at all. It shows you guys feeling great. So maybe there is secrets that you were keeping. Maybe it involved a fire sign, okay? But you kept it to yourself and you just kind of moved on with life. But again, uh, this could be interchangeable. Now the next card here, we have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So that could have been a delay on a new start that you guys want to, or that could have been you guys cutting someone out. With the Six of Cups in the reverse, this is either you reconciling with a past lover or cutting off someone that you were dealing with, okay? But trying to end things um, amicably. Well, yeah, victory comes out again. You're avoiding conflict at all costs. So I just see this as you guys moving away from things that didn't serve you and moving into something solid. That's more solid. Now, the first card we have is the Magician card, and this is for the present moment. So with the Magician card, some of you could be dealing with, um, I think somebody said it was Cancer and Gemini that represent the Magician. You guys can double check that. But with the Magician, there's either something that you're manifesting with somebody, and it's saying that it might not be a good thing. Okay, or they're, again, because we keep seeing these starts and these ends. So there could be something you're starting and then something else that you're looking at saying, you know, this could be a bad move. Okay, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So with the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, this is, you know, it takes a lot. As you guys know, as Taurians, it takes a lot to piss off the Taurus. Okay, we, we have our crazy days, I get that. Uh, but to get the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, it takes a lot. So there could be something happening that really has you guys just acting a little bit immature or I know I did this shit today, you know, <laughs> so this is this is solid. So I was a little bit crazy today. But um, yeah, this is a situation here where, uh, you know, you, you might act up a little bit. You might be stubborn in your ways and you might this doesn't even have to be a bad path to go on. You might just do something stupid. All right. Um, and it could be something that you may feel a temporary loss, but there's still love behind it, guys. Okay? So maybe this is just something that was a little bit stressful, but the love is still there. Now, the next card we have for the present moment is the King of Cups. So this is a very loving, very strong card. Uh, this could be a water sign that's significant for you right now. Okay, let's see what's happening. Four of Pentacles. So there could be a water sign coming in or a water sign that you have in your life that you're a little bit guarded against, but again, with the chariot, uh, this is uh, indicative of cancer. So there could be a cancer specifically, but a water sign that's here uh, that you're kind of guarded against. And you're slowly taking an approach to them, okay? But there could be unfinished business here between you and this water sign. Yeah, I keep showing a water sign here. But it just, overall, it shows a lot of love, a lot of happiness, uh, a lot of passion here. But, you know, the only bad card here we have is a ten of pentacles in the reverse, which would just mean this is something that you're losing. This is something that you're letting go. All right, the next card you guys have is the two of cups for the present moment. I apologize about my lighting, guys. Where's my remote? Is it within reach? Oh, yes. It's within reach. Oh, damn, but the light switch isn't on. 
Yeah, that's not going to happen. I don't want to get up there as a rating guy, so I won't. All right, so we have the Two of Cups here. So this is just a very strong connection that you have with someone, you know, very strong union with somebody here. All right, Two of Wands in the reverse. And there might be the sense of feeling lost because, again, there's something that you're moving away from, something new that you're going towards. And you're starting to see things for what it is, and it could just make you really question uh, which path you want to take. Okay, and yeah, it keeps showing this fire energy here, and something that if you don't make the right choice, it could lead in disappointment and worry, okay? So just make sure you're making the right moves, okay? Because in your gut, you're going to know what's good and what's bad. Now, the first card for your future, guys, is the hanged man. So this is a sense of limbo, not knowing which path to take, which direction to go, kind of being in stagnation. But there's something that you're waiting on. Uh, for some of you, this could be someone in the distance. This could be someone that you have to travel to. Um, maybe they're traveling to see you, you're traveling to see them. And there's kind of like that waiting period until that happens. Or this could be you just waiting to hear from someone. Okay, but with the three of ones, you are going to hear from them. Okay, with the ship, you know, in, in the near distance. All right, and the Eight of Cups. So, again, there's a lot of happiness here. The happiness stays, but it keeps showing that there's something that's being walked away from. But I, I don't feel that the Taurus is going to be left alone in this because you're, you're not going to have all this love and, you know, emotional fulfillment. You can't date yourself, you know. So there has to be somebody you love in. Now, the next card we have here is the Nine of Cups in the Reverse. So with the Nine of Cups in the Reverse, this could be a sense of unhappiness or dissatisfaction. So let's see what's going on with that. Okay, the Hermit card. Intense focus on something. Thinking about where you want to be in life. What's the next step? You know, how do I grow from the situation? All right, and we have the Page of Cups in the Reverse. So I see this water energy that keeps coming in. There might be someone that you have to turn your back on, something that you walk away from, but it's going to be something that's frustrating. And again, it shows that the only reason that this is happening, okay, because, you know, you might have an upset fire sign, someone who's just very frustrated or just anyone in general. But the reason why they're frustrated is because there's something that you're doing that's going to be really good. You're accepting an offer, okay? You're starting something that's going to be very fruitful and beautiful, okay? And you might just have to really kind of stiff hand somebody in the process. Now, the last card that you guys have here is the Justice card. So I think that this is a really good card to end with because, you know, with this juggling that might be happening or not knowing where you're going, things do balance out. The scales do balance out, um, you know, and it, it does go towards a lighter direction. All right, we have the star card in the reverse. So there's someone or something that you lose faith in here. And with the world card in the reverse, you're still tending to someone that you feel that you may have unfinished business with. Okay. Let me get one more card here. Four of wands in the reverse. So yeah, there could be this sense of instability, but guys, there's still love. Lover's card. And the world card in the reverse. So honestly, I don't see this as anything heavy because I see a, I see you guys moving forward. All right. I see a burden that's being released. So I just think that this is going to be a hiccup. I think that it's just might be maybe a small argument between you and your partner or you really, uh, you know, again, having to, you know, stiff hand someone that just doesn't get it. That's just not leaving you alone. OK, but I definitely do see a transition for all Taurians. Okay, so this ended well. <laughs> I'm happy about that. Um, so I just, again, I just see it as a bump in the road for anyone. Maybe an argument or like a day of you guys just giving each other shit. But nothing too heavy, nothing that's going to like break up the relationship. Uh, now, one thing I do want to say is, again, I will leave everything in the description uh, for the New York event. Okay, this is going to be in Westchester, New York, White Plains, New York to be exact. Um, I'll send the location only to those who um, purchase the tickets just because I don't want no crazies looking for me. And then uh, I am also offering one-on-one -on -one tarot lessons. So for anyone who has been interested in learning, I am able to Skype and help you out with that. 
uh, in the description, I talk about all the bundles. So whether you're advanced, uh, intermediate, or beginner, I'm willing to work with all of you. And then I put the decks there that I think are going to be the best uh, decks to start with. But what I do recommend is, um, you know, if you're buying a deck, you've never owned one before, go on like Google Pictures and just type in, you know, tarot decks. Find the one that really speaks to your heart because there's going to be so many different artists that draw these decks and there's going to be certain decks that they just, they call to you. So the one that you see that it's like, ah, yes, that's the one I need to have. That's the one you buy. Okay. And then lastly, um, okay. In terms of personal reading squad, and I know y'all get me and I know that y'all are patient, but guys, uh, when we're doing the personal readings and I'm like saying this verbatim at the end of every video, it's always my intention to get things out within five business days. But I am a single mom. I do shit, you know, all on my own. And it's not a bad thing. I do it well. But sometimes life gets a little hectic for me and I need some more time. So I always try to get things out within five days. At most, the most you'll ever wait is seven to ten days. If by the 11th morning you wake up and the reading is not there at that point, yes, please email me. Ask for updates. Ask me where your reading is. Say, Lisa, are you dead? Are you alive? What's going on? Um, but it's just, it's hard and it's honestly so frustrating for me. Uh, when people, you know, they buy a reading and then the next day and then the day after that and the day after that, are you done yet? Are you done yet? Are you done yet? Um, in those situations, I'd rather just give you a refund. Okay. So, uh, yeah, just be very, very patient. I, I'll always get them out one time out of maybe hundreds of times. I'll forget something that actually happened today that, um, I skipped over someone's reading that I should have gotten to them for a while. So if it's that case, please email me, harass me, but, uh, just let me work. Okay. That's the quickest way for me to get everything out because I spend like an hour to two hours a day just going through emails. So it just, it, it takes me so much longer when I have 75 people who want, and it's not 75 people, I'm exaggerating, but it just, it makes it harder for me to get through these things uh, when I have to respond to so many people. You know, I got to find your name in my list. Like, where are you? Uh, okay, I'll get it to you in three days. Okay, I just, I don't like doing it. You guys know I'm stubborn and I like things being done in my way. <sighs> All right, Taurus. That was good. I'll be back in a few days for your mid-months, and you guys are going to get your November readings early this month uh, because my ass will be in New York, and I don't want to be doing readings when I'm in New York, all right? So I love you guys so much. For my New Yorkers out there, I will be so happy to meet you guys. So squad, I will see you. And I'm sorry I talked for so long, but guys, it's so hard to read myself. So that's why I take more time with these readings. Squad, you know I love you. Take care.